Hey, how's it going? I'm Ryan Noyes, an audio video artist from Atlanta, Georgia. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to turn your iPad into a wireless control surface for Ableton Live. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're gonna need a few things to pull this off. First, you're gonna to need to do a couple downloads. First, you'll need to get Touch OC from the App Store. Uh, you need to install this on your actual iPad. Uh, next, for your computer, you'll need a copy of Live 8. 7 is not supporting this at the current time. Uh, you'll also need to download uh, from Will Marshall a Python script that he's written. Um, awesome work, and uh, I'll show you where to get that as well. Um, lastly, you'll need an app called Osculator. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to take your MIDI information or your OSC information and convert it over to MIDI CC notes so that Ableton sees your iPad as a MIDI controller. Um, once uh, you've got all that stuff rocking, we'll need to go uh, into your applications folder, select Ableton, uh, live, you'll right click on it, show package contents. Inside that, you'll go inside uh, app resources. And then you'll need to go down to MIDI remote scripts and put your live OSC inside this folder. When it's inside there, Ableton will recognize OSC now and allow you to go into your preferences and select live OSC. When you have that selected, make sure you've turned all this on. And uh, at that point, you should be able to open up the OSC Touch. Make sure that your network is selected, which mine is, uh, MacBook Pro, Ryan Noise. I have selected a layout, uh, and we can get further into making these as well in the next video. Um, but for now, I've selected this iPad 123, which I made. Uh, I've selected Stay Connected, so that I'm able to uh, keep that going through a whole performance. Then I'm going to hit done when this is set up. Uh, I have a small grid set up right here, kind of like a little NPC pad thing or something. And if you notice, whenever I touch this, I'm actually getting uh, some MIDI response up here in the top corner. And I'm getting feedback from the actual iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my MIDI. And when I do that, I'm going to say if I wanted to play this note right here, I could do that as well. And I will click on this button and come back. And now I notice I am getting play right there. So that's pretty much it. It'll work for sliders, uh, any kind of fader or anything else that you have. And uh, I'll be making some custom templates to share with you guys as well as um, some other information uh, as this progresses. And uh, I hope this information was valuable. 